On that end, um, Ambassador McFall, he specifically called for de-escalation the situation in Ukraine. How is Russia likely to respond? Well, to Matt's point, uh, it was very clear that it was a mixed message that the president was uh, uh, trying to communicate, not just to us, but to Vladimir Putin. On the one hand, times have changed. You're not going to have this disconnect between a president and the rest of his administration vis-a-vis -vis Vladimir Putin. That era is over. But if he's also signaling, as you just said, de-escalation was a word he used. Proportion was a word he used because he wants to put an end to this period and have things stabilized, including in Ukraine. And now balls in Putin's court. Uh, now he's we'll have to wait and see how he responds. My prediction is that initially he's going to respond positively because he's going to want to have that meeting. He's going to want to have that summit. I hope it's not in Helsinki, by the way. I don't want to go back to Helsinki. And to, I don't know if you remember that, but that's when uh, President Trump said oh, yeah. it would be a great <laughs> idea to hand me over to, to Mr. Putin. Uh, so please, no Helsinki repeats. But that, I think, was a very effective diplomatic move on behalf of President Biden and his team to help possibly get into a more stable, predictable bilateral relationship. But none of this happy talk anymore. That era is over. Well, and Julian, your byline is on the reporting in The New York Times this week about the testimony from the top intelligence chiefs. And the assessment about Russia calls for de-escalation. I mean, if it goes in the other direction, we, we will be nothing uh, short of in a, in a crisis with that country. Talk about what the intelligence chiefs testified to this week about Russia's posture on the border of Ukraine. Yeah, so they've talked about how they've been tracking uh, this troop buildup since the end of March. There was a military exercise that was supposed to end and the troops were supposed to go home. They didn't, they stayed there. Now, unlike 2014, where there were steps to sort of mask and hide what Russia was doing, this has been pretty open. They've built up these troops. They've, they've wanted to be seen. So some in the intelligence agencies uh, see this as a signal, that, that it's a, a pressure tactic on the United States, a pressure tactic, of course, on Ukraine. But, you know, William Burns testified this week that the, the there are capable of an incursion, and so that the intelligence community could not rule that out. And that's why this situation is so dangerous uh, and could be a, a return to an escalated state of violence. So pull back the curtain for me, Ambassador McFall, and tell me what, what the person who has a role like what you had is, is saying be, behind the scenes. Is it a tougher message than what we heard from the president today? Well, yes and no. I, I do think they are rolling out a strategy, right? Not just a tit for tat, but they want to have a comprehensive strategy for how to deal with Russia. Uh, I think it was very wise to, to call President Putin ahead of time to give him a readout of what's coming. Um, I think it was wise to say they should meet together. I, I personally don't think it was necessary to have a summit. I think you could have done that as a pull aside. So if I were advising President Biden, I would have said, just do that on the sidelines. That will create a, a summit. Remember what that does. That means we all fly to Geneva or Vienna and we look for tea leaves and there's not going to be any deliverables. So I would have downplayed it. Yeah. Um, but the other thing is I, they are firm in their response. Remember the expulsions too, Nicole. I wanted to underscore that for a minute. These weren't diplomats. These were Russian intelligence officers. That's not just deterrence. That's disruption of what they do here in the United States, that is important. They are sending a strong signal that it's not going to be business as usual. But we're going to cooperate when we can, as the president just said. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.